Good afternoon, I'm Gary Fedor, and you're watching a Mediaplex Live Out 1. <music> Former Windsor Spitfire Ben Johnson was sentenced to three years in prison yesterday. On September 1st, Johnson was found guilty of sexually assaulting a 16-year-old girl at the former Mint nightclub. Johnson's lawyer, Patrick Ducharme, is expected to file an appeal today. The seasons are changing, and Windsor residents are being asked to clean out their causes. Don Gray has more on the story. The annual Coats for Kids campaign is in full swing. The Unemployed Help Centre has once again partnered with a number of local dry cleaners in an effort to collect 6,000 winter coats for children in Windsor and Essex County. Gently used coats can be dropped off at any of the participating dry cleaners. June Muir, CEO of the Unemployed Help Centre, attributes the success of the program to the generosity of the community. It's because of the community that this program truly does work. And the kids, when they come in and they select a coat that's just gently used and, you know, for little girls, if it's in style, they're jumping up and down. And um, we're helping kids keep warm this winter season. Organizers hope to collect as many coats as possible at the dry cleaners before the cutoff date of October 31st. However, they will still collect coats here at the Unemployed Help Center all through the season. Reporting for Mediaplex News Now, I'm Don Gray. Turning to weather, today will be showers with a high of 8 degrees. Overnight, temperatures will drop to 7, and tomorrow will be overcast with showers throughout the day and a high of 9 degrees. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Kier Fedor, and this has been Mediaplex Live at 1. Wow.